The next one is going to Netflix. Ooh, right? Already? Victim Suspect. Another one that because it had the Netflix pickup, we thought, oh, it's gonna be really by the numbers. Another surprise as well. This comes from documentarian Nancy Schwartzman, who previously did Roll Red Roll. This is on Prime. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, Out of football. No, team. I haven't. Yeah. And she knows how to investigate them down to a T. I should have known that that she was going to keep that same energy here. This is a documentary that's showing you the journalistic perspective of what you got to do, LA Noir style. All right. If I say this, they're they're, they're done with me. So right. I gotta tease you just enough to get the info that I need, mm -hmm. and it is frustrating. You remember the show on Netflix, um, Unbelievable? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the doc version of that. Interesting. This is how so many things get lost in the rubble and on purpose mm -hmm. because they just decided to, to not listen to it. Uh, this documentary does a great job of looking at a double standard one way. Oh, he's just a boy. Boys will be boys. And she flips that when she's investigating for one of uh, uh, their individuals, specifically because it showcases how someone who's a victim makes a claim and they go, I think you're a liar, so that's a false claim, yeah. now you're a suspect. Yeah, it seems specifically focused on how the police will will take people who should be uh, receiving justice and brings justice down yeah, on them Yeah, you instead. have so many stories. Someone calls the cop and the cop ends <laughs> up coming at them. Yeah. Uh, this is this is that movie in terms of a lot of uh, women who have been dealing with SA. Yeah. Victim suspect, pretty good title for it. Um, I, re I really liked it. And this Absolutely. should be on, on Netflix if I'm not mistaken, but. Catch Roll Red Roll over on Prime because that's also a really good doc that has the same approach. Nice. Invisible Beauty, wrapping up the top three over here in the streaming ones. Mm -hmm. Invisible Beauty covers fashion icon Bethan Hardison, and it goes through everything that's happened to a lot of black models or agents in modeling. Mm -hmm. Zach, it's not good. Let me pull up some of the notes that I had over here. It was crazy to just hear the different things that they denote in the back. There was one point where... Uh, uh, her whole approach is that she's not here to bring anybody down, right? right? As someone who's dealt with so much BS, she's not trying to get rid of other models. She's not trying to put anybody down. She's trying to pick everybody up. I like that approach to her. It was also interesting to hear her talk about how she forgot a lot of things she said. She's like, wow, that was a really good quote I said back in 1990-whatever. Um, it gets into the idea about all these luxury brands that did not want their clothes to be on black bodies. How... Uh, there were a lot of agents who knew right away that when they were dealing with certain things, uh, certain seasons, they didn't want certain models there. Uh, I think it gets into the nitty gritty of it. And personally, this is one where at 115 minutes, they talked about a seven hour cut and a four hour cut. <laughs> this should have been a miniseries. Um, I'm not sure who picked this one up because it's still being shopped around, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, one thing that I've noticed, which we haven't touched on yet, is that there's been fewer pickups out of Sundance this <laughs> year. Good there have been, and some there's big been ones. Pre -pickups. But uh, there's still a lot of films there's seeking distribution. Films. Yeah, so hopefully this one gets a release. And again, I hope that we get to see a version of the seven hour cut because yeah. it, it's all made up of an anecdotes. And yeah, I think those should have been out there as well. The uh, directors and editors also worked on stuff like Halston. Mm. So if you've seen Halston, a yeah. very fashion-centric movie, obviously. Dior and I, another uh, fashion-centric one. They've got this down. So at least it's nice. documentarians who, who know the subject matter.